Hunter Armor Fighting Vehicle is a cutting-edge trike military vehicle developed by SD Engineering, the Defense Science and Technology Agency and the Singapore Army. Officially commissioned in 2019, the Hunter replaced Singapore's aging Antra M113 ammo personnel carriers. As the world's first fully digitalized ammo fighting vehicle, it represents a significant leap in military technology designed to enhance operational effectiveness and efficiency across modern battlefield. The Hunter's design combines proven military technology with advanced digital systems to meet the needs of Singapore's defense forces. The Hunter employs the Rafael Samson 30 remote weapon station featuring a 30mm Bushmaster 2 automatic cannon, a coaxially mounted 7.62mm machine gun, and the capability to launch spike anti-tank guided missiles. The Hunter accommodates the crew of three, driver, gunner, and commander, with room for up to eight fully armed troops in its rear compartment. Troops can dismount via a rear exit, ensuring their safety during combat. Equipped with a 360-degree camera system, laser warning sensors, and independent vision systems for each crew member, the Hunter provides unparalleled situational awareness even under challenging conditions, such as night operations. Its fully digitalized operating environment enables real-time target sharing and secure communications, ensuring seamless coordination with allied forces. The Hunter is powered by a diesel engine that propels the vehicle to speeds up 70 km per hour and range of 500 km. Enhanced size guard armor a low-profile turret reduces its vulnerability to enemy fire. Additionally, the vehicle is equipped with smoke reality structures for self-screening after combat. The Hunter platform supports various configurations, including command vehicle, armor recovery vehicle, armor engineering vehicle, armor vehicle launch bridge, the export variant features a 105mm main gun with a Coke Rail 3105 turret for direct fire support. The Singapore Army has actively integrated the Hunter into its mechanized units, where it replaces legacy platforms and strengthens Singapore's defense posture. While the Hunter has not yet seen combat, its state-of-the-art features position it as a critical asset for national defense, capable of operating in urban, jungle, and open terrain. The Hunter also reflects Singapore's broader strategy of achieving self-reliance in defense manufacturing. By fielding this domestically developed AFV, Singapore reduces its dependence on foreign suppliers, ensuring greater autonomy in maintaining and upgrading its military assets. Currently, the Singapore Army is the sole operator of the Hunter AFV. However, the vehicle's export variant has garnered interest from potential buyers particularly in regions seeking advanced yet cost-effective ammo solutions. The Hunter's digitalized design and modularity embody the principles of modern warfare, emphasizing network-centric operations, flexibility, and survivability. Its ability to integrate seamlessly into digitalized battle space enhances coordination between units while its robust firepower and mobility make it a formidable platform for both offensive and defensive operations. 
The Hunter's innovative design makes it an attractive option for countries seeking to modernize their armor fleets. Its export variant, featuring a heavier armament, broadens its appeal to nations requiring versatile firepower in addition to troop transport capabilities. As the global demand for network-centric military platforms grows, the Hunter is well positioned to become a leading choice for advanced ammo fighting vehicles. Furthermore, ongoing upgrades and adaptations will likely keep the Hunter relevant for decades, reinforcing Singapore's position as a key player in the global defense industry. The Hunter Ammo Fighting Vehicle is a testament to Singapore's technological prowess and commitment to modernizing its armed forces. Combining cutting-edge digital systems with proven combat capabilities, the Hunter sets a new standard for AFVs, ensuring Singapore remains at the forefront of military innovation.